Okay, and welcome back to Elementary 72 Gaming. Now, this is the first of the beginner shops that you receive. Now, I'm going to be going through them one at a time. Some of these videos will be 5 minutes, some of them will be 30 minutes. And that depends on the complexity of the vessel. Now, as far as the beginner ships, these ships are absolutely inefficient at direct combat. They are cheap ships to use and they are easy to outfit. They come with a standard set of outfit uh, regiments on them and they are very cheap on the term of um, production or insurance. So they are one of the ships you can use to scout with. The other ships are obviously available and much easier to use than this particular vessel. Now moving down the list you will see that it is highly inefficient for most of its slots. It is quite fast but it's not fast enough. It is a very good warp speed but it isn't the fastest warp speed. It is a fair enough class for a small usage weapon system platform but it isn't efficient enough to actually give you any edge in combat. It has no rigging slots, it has no additional bonuses in terms of a major power play. Now this is the Condor. It is the very first ship that most of you will start off with in the Kaldari form uh, play. The one thing to note about it is it is a missiles platform ship. So if you use it with the right missile form, you can keep some distance on your enemy and you can take on level 1, level 2 and level 3 enemies with this vessel even though it is highly inefficient at level 3. You can pick up items from there, collect bounties quickly and use that together up to jump up one or two classes within the same frigate class or you can move up to the cruisers. Okay, so considering that this hasn't even reached five minutes, I'm actually going to talk about the other four as well. I did intend to do them all separately, but I think it will be a good one for the starter vessels. The Slasher is the vessel from uh, this is an Amar, this is, forgetting the name of the sector, Minmata. Yeah, this is a Minmata vessel. It is a good vessel to use cannons on. The big downside with the ship, just like, just like the Condor is, it cannot be augmented to give you much of an advantage. Even the weapon systems that you are using on it make no difference. You could always change your weapon systems around and even using a mud slot like it's saying where it gives you the webifier bonus is absolutely ineffective. Everything about this here will not really boost you up enough to give you a fighting edge. It cannot be augmented with rigs and therefore is a very inefficient vessel. It is good for scouting and it's good for low replacement cost. Okay, the executioner is the Amar vessel of choice. It is also the starter vessel for the class and here are some of the things to note about the ship. Although the ship is fast and uses the laser platform, it is generally not the best for close range combat at this particular class. Obviously you have to be upgrading it to the exec Executioner 2 or the other classes of Executioner. This class of Executioner will not give you much of an efficiency bonus. It will keep you in the same class as the Condor and as the very first Minmata ship that you can use the Slasher. It is also very close to the Galante vessel in the terms of its power. It is a laser vessel just like the standard of the Spectrum. Now last but not least is the Galante vessel. The Galante vessel is exactly the same as the others, inefficient in most of its applicability. However, it does have one sterling edge for you to use if you are kicking off combat with this vessel. It has railguns. Now, railguns aren't the most efficient weapon in the game, but they are highly efficient on close range combat. And this ship stays in close range combat. Now, I haven't said this about any of the others but keeping it in close range combat where it has some speed is definitely going to be of some use to you if you are going to use it up to level 3. It should work as well as the Condor against level 3 enemies but please be warned that against larger foes the 
the mediums or the large it may be destroyed it's also very low cost and with the right, right outputting this is a vessel to be feared i hope that you all do enjoy this quick breakdown on your starter vessels the basic frigates and i will be continuing with this as we go on uh, obviously that's four videos that were cut down to one because the ships were way too simple i will catch you all in the next one have a good day